story if we've ever seen one, but the queso is flowing. It's hot and spicy. It's time for your grand finals. G2 versus Luminosity. They say a great offense beats a great defense. Some would say a great defense beats a great offense. Well, you got the number one defense against the number one offense. Something's got to give. G2 looking to go back to back. Luminosity stands in their way. The beast and the bear. But there are plenty of other parts at play. Welcome to your grand finals in North America. This one's gonna be a close one. Once again, G2 comes into a final facing a team that's averaging over three goals a game. They shut down Gen G two weeks ago. They shut him down a moment ago, and they're going to work on LG now. Again, Daniel, this pass up forward to Beast Mode. Beast Mode gets their time, beautiful play shot. This is the G2 efficiency we've seen at the start of the day. They're carrying it on. It is unreal how a team can be so dominant in this region. But there was a kind of a consensus, Daz, that okay, if there are two teams that are gonna compete on the international stage, it'd be G2 and Gen G. I think that has just been reduced to G2. Maybe Luminosity will have something to say about it. They've got the ball on the right side of the field, but only because Atomic has allowed it. As Beast Mode dances around Cheese, he'll bring this down to ground. Here comes Atomic. Got it to an open space in front, but Daniel wasn't there, and Magic Bear actually able to slip past him. Now a shot coming netward, and Atomic has that save. Interesting to see how Luminosity adapt to this. Definitely does feel like there is indeed a gap here between G2 and everyone else. Luminosity has closed that gap, but G2 right now is showing why they're the better team. Daniel strikes. It's a two goal lead for G2. It isn't that G2 plays to the level of its competition. It plays to a level above its competition on any given matchup. I mean, where every other team in North America has either their kryptonite or they're just like any other team, G2 just looks stellar every time we see them. And we knew it would be a loaded roster. I mean, you add Daniel and Beast Mode with all their chemistry, and it, while it didn't pan out at the very start of the first regional, they still beat everybody in front of them, and then they really put it together against Gen G in the finals, and that's the G2 we've seen ever since then. Yeah, G2 is still continuing to kind of build up on that. The play style only getting more and more refined. Rettles tried to set something up though with the lead block, and we ended up just seeing again, G2, even when it feels like you have them on the ropes offensively, there's always somebody getting involved, cutting out the play. Even that goal line defense is like a wall sometimes, but Magic Bear able to get the touch to throw off the defense, and Cheese, a great follow. What a setup here, and the defense Rightly so, just kind of slows down like, wait, what? What a touch. I mean, brilliant shot to get that anywhere near the mark. Cheese there on the doorstep to finish the job. Tell you what, if that didn't go in, you probably could have ended this game right there. This waterfall down. Oh, Jesus whoa. Put it in the net himself. Rettles barely clears that out of harm's way. And Cheese looking for Rettles, only finding Atomic. Here comes G2 again. Daniel flip reset, sent away by Cheese, but not a convincing clear and more effort needed. Cheese not credited with a save there. He should have been as he keeps G2 at bay. Time to try to get a touch out. G2 though, still making a move. Oh, Beastmo tried to get the musty. Almost a follow up from Atomic, but was cut away from Rettles. Cheese already sitting with three saves this game as his defense has been a note and will most likely be needed plenty more times throughout this series. G2, no strangers to constantly peppering the net, but Luminosity been able to keep this a one goal game for the time being. Magic Bear just a little floater there trying to test the G2 defense, maybe get them to double commit, get out of position. More hopeful than anything. Nobody puts a hand up here. Cheese over reaction save and G2 
still kept off the board, but they just have LG at their mercy right now. Just a matter of time right now, Luminosity. I have to try to find some room. Reddles in Atomic Trade demos. So Daniel will be back for a moment. Buys Atomic enough time to get back into the play. You see Cheese on the way back. So it's Magic Bear. Reddles trying to slow things down, but Cheese able to get a strong touch upfield. You see Beast Mode again, just opting to get control. Great first touch out of him. Atomic also not letting this ball get too far. You see Daniel waiting on the sidewall. Just going to show you G2 always looking for each other. Daniel got a bump. Atomic got a shot, but Cheese, a great block. Hasn't been relentless pressure. There have been some breaks in the action, but pretty darn close to it. Now, 10 shots from G2. Maybe about to be an 11th, but that one gets free and maybe a little fortunate for Atomic that it was a little bit wide because I don't know that he was going to catch up to it. Here goes Beast Mode right at Magic Bear. More pressure. That is the 11th shot to just two out of Luminosity, but Cheese has one of them that ultimately found its way into the net. Actually, Magic Bear had that shot. Cheese, I don't think, was credited with the shot that went in. Here goes Daniel, right down the middle. Atomic in support, and more defense needed out of LG. Magic Bear does get him on the right side. One miss from Atomic might have opened the door just a little bit. Reddles with 14. Magic Bear, the demo. Daniel's still there at the back, and that forces Luminosity back one more time. Time for one last push. Magic Bear tried to control instead of booming it away. Now they have no time left, and now they have no life. G2. The they jump on it. Cheese was there very quickly. It was able to get that one, I think, before anyone had too much time to react. He kind of read the ball well. Uh, but G2 definitely, again, seemed to just, the way they play this game, feels almost suffocating if you're going up against them. You feel very exposed. And as a team, trying to figure out how to break out of that and try to find some comfortability is always going to be the, the game plan here. Of course, if there's any team that is prepared to do that, it is Luminosity. They've got the most experience against this roster. Now, what will they do with a chance here in game two to kind of change the narrative of the series? Uh, Reynolds tried to slow play there and just had the ball knocked right over his head. Now Cheese with Reynolds forward. He'll take it himself. Tried to drop it down to Reynolds. Beast mode in the way. Now Magic Bear right at Beast Mode, who just happens to be there too. Why not? Flip reset to go forward. Daniel set it high, maybe off of Reynolds. This is floating oh. to the crossbar. Still loose in front. Off the bar again, and Reynolds will clear it away. Tell you what, Reynolds was completely helpless there. Needed that shot to be off the mark. Fortunately for LG, it was. And now that one goes deep into G2 territory, but Cheese is deleted off the field. Gotta keep eyes out on Magic Bear, trying to keep that composure here. A couple of panic touches could be disastrous. Cheese, though, found it. Luminosity sending so many in front to disrupt G2 and to get a free look for Cheese. Did Daniel and Atomic run into each other on the back wall? Did I, did I see that right? It looked like Daniel was just knocked completely out of the play, and I think he bumped off of Atomic. So either way, G2 have a blunder defensively. Luminosity takes advantage of it. Cheese, by the way, after getting demolished, gets right back into the play for that score. Is now Reddles off to the side. Magic Bear now into the corner, and Beast Mode will take over. Atomic trying to just bully Magic Bear way downfield. Almost like Magic Bear was trying to hold him against the wall, and Atomic was having none of it. He gets a piece of that and allows Daniel to come up into the play. So we, we see Luminosity with a lead. How long will it last? Beast Mode right at Cheese. They haven't shied away from Cheese at all. I mean, as great as he's been against the other teams in the field, G2 are willing to go right at him like, okay, try it. As Atomic almost scored that one. Now Daniel still staying again. on the ball. Oh, stopped by and G Atomic. And Atomic the rebound. That's the G2 pressure. I mean, look how close to just stick with it. Daniel gets a touch. He's able to follow it up. He always stays close to the ball, forcing you to have to try to play his touch because, again, it's in front of your goal line. You can score. As long as he gets you out of the play, that's exactly what he wants to do. He's trying to set up Atomic the best way possible. Does just there. And now G2 able to tie things up. G2 not a team concerned at all about its shooting percentage. They're willing to set up those juicy rebounds, and they know that Luminosity doesn't have necessarily the best rebound control. It's one of the toughest things to do.
to actually consistently get a ball out of a scoring position defensively. And Luminosity have left some opportunities available for G2. But they've been able to capitalize on. That one's loose in front. Cheese will score. Cheese has been moving through the defense pretty well. This one is solid touch, and Atomic just misses the read off the corner. Big read there to make. He tries to recover, but Cheese has the ball every time. He's shooting two for two, and again, eyes on him. He's been doing super solid over the course of today, continuing up from earlier. He's going to be needed for Luminosity if they want to take this series. On the cusp of scoring his 40th goal of the weekend. A monstrous performance out of Cheese. Rettles, demo in the air. Oh, Magic! Bear flexes his muscles, 3-1. And there's the big bear. Rettles leads it front, takes away the beast, and Atomic tries to get a touch, can't get a nice read on it. Magic with the dunk. LG up by two. Two and minutes and seven seconds to go. Better dunk than anything we saw last night. Here goes Atomic with beast mode forward. Drop down in, in the wing and it just didn't result in anything there. Good win by Cheese. Who else? Beast mode will collect this. He'll try to go right down the middle, but he gets nudged out of the play. Here come Magic Bear and Rattles again. Oh my! Magic Bear almost scored that. Oh mercy! Wow, and then look at this. This is just a free ball right off the back while Rattles and Magic Bear had to both get boost, so no one's there to get a follow there. But hold on, wait a second. Luminosity are starting to cut through this strong G2 defense. Here's a chance though, they got numbers advantage up the field. Atomic looking for Beast Mode Cheese, recognize it. Daniel puts a shot on. Thought he had a chance there to seek it into the net. Good save out from Magic Bear. Magic Bear starting to elevate. So is the rest of Luminosity Gaming. Rettles, fake challenge, but Beast Mode caught the bluff and banked the shot. Throw it at the net. Hope something good happens. Magic Bear just gets caught looking. 3-2. G2 right back in it. Has been a big turnaround after outshooting Luminosity 12-2 in the first game. But watch out off the kickoff. Reynolds turned up field and he paid the price. No way. Just like that, back all tied up. Big win off the kickoff. Daniel able to get the follow. You said it. Reynolds with the turn up on field. And just like that, they worked so hard to get this two goal lead and it just in a snap, it's gone. Just like that. Three all. Magic Bear sent away by Beast Mode. Atomic thought about it, left the corner boost available too that Magic Bear was able to steal. That demo takes out cheese and that takes out 90% of the Luminosity offense. No, what and the? everybody parts, and Beast Mode just walks right through. That should just not be a goal. What is going on defensively from Luminosity? A double commit there on the goal line, and Beast Mode has the easiest net of his life. That can't happen. Okay. Here we are. Daniel left it for Beast Mode, intercepted. Oh. Cheese going after Atomic. It's still in front. Magic Bear can't get there in time. Cheese does steal the corner boost, though, and then won that ball deep into the opposite corner. So her LG had retreated. Cheese stayed up and almost made something out of it. Now Reynolds uh, is trying to maybe have Daniel win that challenge, in air quotes, back to Cheese. It didn't work out. And then despite the demo on cheese, LG break out, but they only got seven seconds. Daniel through the air, trying to waste the remainder of the time. One last shot on, sent away by Reynolds. Cheese got to get under it. He does, but he's lobbed it way downfield. Magic Bear's got to get on his horse. Cheese can't catch it. And G2. This on match point here in the grand finals. Can Luminosity, do they get the timeout buff? We'll have to see right here. You would back out of some kind of a timeout with the level of brain power they've got. That they're running things behind the scenes with them, especially with Raw Greg. But on the other side, you've got one of the better coaches in North America in Sathew. A lot of questions around him when he kind of took over for Jazo, like, okay, is he is he up for this task?
He's answered that question in brilliant fashion. It's cheese way downfield for Rettles. Atomic has played it out of the corner. There is Cheese. Infield pass, and Magic Bear turned off. He realized that G2 was all over it. And then a lot of chaos in front there, and I think LG having a real tough time reading what exactly oh. G2's doing as Daniel forces that one through. Daniel, I mean, look at this. Gets control, goes up 47 boost, just plays the 50 perfectly, bounces off, and Reynolds will get credit with the old gold double. <laughs> but that's exactly what G2 will do to you. They force you to go up. You got to play it right. If not, it's going in your net. Poor Reynolds, man. That's the second time that's happened to him today. Gold going in off of him that wouldn't have otherwise. It's a real tough spot, though. You got to make that challenge. Here's Magic Bear. Boost and ball, and plenty of time as he dances around Daniel. Took out beast mode. It's only Atomic. He's deleted, and Daniel got back into the play. So too did beast mode. The window was open for Luminosity, and still G2 slammed it shut. Daniel all over the ball, no matter where he is positioned on the field. Anything he can do to shut down Luminosity. Chance here for beast mode, drops it to Atomic. Atomic was looking for Daniel, but Daniel will try to play this off the wall. It does end up slowing down Cheese there, so he won't be able to get a double for free. You see Rattles looking for some more bumps. But of course, this one still remains within G2 possession. They've got the ball, but lots of time here on the clock. Anytime they have this control, you see again, Daniel just playing it so close. He wants to play a 50 out, wants to try to see if he can get something that just helps out Beast Mode and Atomic as much as possible. Well, Rattles realized he had to dive in there as quickly as he could. Couldn't get a piece of that. Now Beast Mode loses that out to Cheese. Magic Bear can keep the attack flowing here for Luminosity, but he lost it. Now it's Atomic against Cheese. Centered, nobody home as Rettles rolls it out. Boy, this ball spent a lot Ooh. of time in the center, deep in Luminosity territory. Only a matter of time before G2 just breaks it wide open, it feels. Here goes Daniel. Got Magic Bear on skates for a moment. Beast mode again. Daniel's gonna get out of the play. Not for very long. He could turn on this, but he'll let Atomic take it. He gets demolished again. Atomic has been a popular target for Luminosity in this series. They haven't gotten anything out of it. That even though they get two demos, Daniel finds a way back into the play. There's no wasted movement getting back defensively on the part of G2. Oh, and you can, again, it's just the way they're looking, the way they're moving right now. They cut anything out from Luminosity. They get that demo on a man back. Now they have to rethink their entire approach upfield. This is a team that Luminosity, they also do play well for each other and work off how each other's doing on the ball. So if someone's just disrupted, then that can sometimes shut down all offenses and even the defense as well. Demo on the back end, opens it up for Atomic, and he sets it home. Beautiful play from him. After Magic Bear's taken out, you've got one coming back and one coming from the goal, and confusion over who's supposed to be the primary defender here. Probably should have been cheese with Reynolds kind of filling in behind him. Instead, they both just kind of half go, and Atomic picks them apart. And it's just a mistake you don't see often out of G2 that other teams will make. The, the level of chemistry and teamwork that you see out of G2 is their advantage, and it shines even brighter when you see that fall apart from other teams. Cheese trying to work out of the zone. Daniel brings it right back in, and it's more G2 offense yet again. It just feels like there's not, not, not many options for Luminosity here. They're doing their best, but G2 have their number right now. And oh my goodness, Daniel almost adding another one to the shot to the score total. Shot from the top note to pass to Beast Mode. Goes to Daniel. One, two, three. Cheese still able to get the clearance. Reynolds trying to see if he can force this downfield. Wants to see if he can make it a one goal game. Almost that one on the goal line. Atomic able to make a save. Five one from Reynolds. Blocked out again by Atomic. G2 are net letting nothing through. Out of everybody that isn't on the G2 team in this lobby, Cheese is the only one who realized where that play was going just a moment ago from G2. That's insane. This kid's not getting, uh, this kid's getting a lot of credit, and he's still not getting enough. He has been phenomenal. Unfortunately, they're against 
an absolute giant in G2 who are about to go on match point, having a shutout in game three. Daniel, one more touch. This will be centered. Cheese might be able to walk it home. Not even. No mercy. This team isn't going to lose to random bubble fun time playing in round three of the open quals. Here we go again. Game four. Can G2 close out another sweep in the finals? Looking to see if they can do so. Luminosity not done yet. It really does come down to how well they start here. They, they are able to kind of get things going, but if they slow things down, let off the gas a little bit, you see G2 start to pounce. Atomic is trying to look for somebody. I think it was Daniel Bismo now with a strong clearance. Daniel taking his time. Goes for a low challenge. Atomic up quick, and Rettles needed to make a touch there, and he does. Cheese under pressure, but Magic Bear there to help him out. Luminati City kind of get out of that for the time being, but not before a beast mode. It was a great challenge from him to kind of keep pace back here for G2. Good pickup from Daniel now, and Beast Mode actually does get demoed on the back end, so Daniel will try to solo, almost got the dunk through. Good save from Cheese, and good beat from Magic Bear here in the midfield as well. Tomic had to stop Rettles, otherwise it could have been a chance for a goal. Wait, no, it will be, but Daniel got the block on Cheese's shot. It was Daniel last time when LG had a shot in the previous game. After the two demos, Daniel saved him. And then Beast Mode clips this one. Magic Bear finally got it through. Luminosity in front. It's only a matter of time. I mean, you see Cheese initially, good challenge there. Not the best touch on the clearance, but had to rush it. And then G2 started to scramble. Magic Bear knew he had a good chance to score, lined up the shot well. Now Luminosity, they start off with the lead, but they've got to maintain it. Still plenty of time here for G2. Well, Cheese lost that one to Daniel. It falls down for Beast Mode, the longtime duo connecting again. Daniel for Atomic, tie game again. Sometimes it just looks like they're in free play, the way they, the way they play. No one contesting this. It's just free pass to one, touch off the backboard, Free shot for Atomic, it's in your net. They get that back so quickly. I'm gonna throw this out there just because I, I find it fascinating. Again, our statistician direct is absolutely awesome. You look at Vitality, last spring, their first two regionals with Zen, they go 10 and one in series. Of course, they believe it was the bracket reset where they had uh, lost one as a shot here for magic bear no rettles will follow it up we'll get to that in a moment as rettles gives lg the lead yet again look at that great touch out magic bear beautiful read they're able to get there quickly and rettles has all the net to shoot at he decides let me put it in the top left corner luminosity still showing some fight here they got the lead again match point situation but they are not crumbling under pressure so Vitality have been 10 and 1 through their first 11 series. G2, 11 and 0. Obviously a different standard of competition, but impressive nonetheless, especially when you consider they've won 85% of their individual games. Cheese will have this one. Luminosity trying to just put a tiny dent into that number. Give themselves a little bit of life here in this grand final and prove that yes, somebody can actually stand up against the big bad boogeyman. They got two minutes and 40 seconds to maintain a one goal lead against G2. Good luck. Right now, still battling to see if they can extend that score line. But look, instantly pass out. Atomic was trying to set up a double there, but did get denied. Now Magic Bear, who initially challenged Atomic, goes all the way downfield to just see if he can continue to keep this ball on the orange half. G2 moving left to right as the ball kind of switches, uh, switches sides of the field here. And they're not able to get out. Good spacing here for Luminosity. The challenge game has been good for them right now, but not able to really set up a shot opportunity from it. G2 will still be able to carry it into the blue half. Two minutes remain. G2 has been, by comparison to the rest of their tournament, a little docile here in game four. Oh, that's a bad mistake. Oh, double commit. He just about put it in the net himself, and Magic Bear will clean it up. And you got Atomic and Daniel both going up for this. Atomic probably should have left it for Daniel there. Got the touch, threw him off, open look, and then Magic Bear scores. We've seen this score line before, 3-1. Luminosity have been, this time, gifted a goal here from the G2 mistake. 
Now all they've got to do is force the issue. They look to be doing that, though. They're continuing to keep this one in front. That one goes off the back while Reynolds not able to get there in time. But LG just not overcommitting. Let's keep G2 on their own half, and let's keep testing them. Nobody has ever swept back-to-back -back grand finals in North America. Gen G came the closest last year. They dropped a game in their two consecutive wins, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen here. Magic Bear's got a hat trick with Luminosity on the ropes. Look at that. I mean, again, to Daniel there, not really the best touch, trying to get it past one, slips away from him, and Magic Bear right on top of the ball. Beautiful shot out of the Bear. Four ones the score line in game four. And Luminosity are showing no signs of slowing down. This is the shakiest we've seen G2 look maybe almost all season the way they've been playing. Give yourself a shot if you can score right about now as Daniel denied by Reynolds. G2 still swarming and G swipes across for that save. And downfield, Reynolds trying to put it away, but it's sent away by Beast Mode. But even if you score here, you've seen how shaky LG have been on some kickoffs. Maybe you can get a cheap one, get a couple, and maybe you can make a game of it. So LG can't afford to just rest on this. They need to keep the pressure on here. It's the most uneasy three goal lead anybody could possibly have at this point, just because of who they're up against. Magic Bear for Reynolds, intercepted. Oh, geez, too far forward. Oh, and he can't put it on target. It went high, and Reynolds empty net, and he couldn't score. He couldn't score, but 15 seconds left. I think he'll be okay, especially with Magic Bear pushing that one back into the goal line and almost getting another dunk. Time ticking down, and Luminosity backs against the wall, but they show signs of life here. They take game four. They want to make this one close. Still a match point situation. 3-1 the series score line. We're on DFH Stadium as G2 are trying to close out the grand finals. Luminosity trying to attempt a reverse sweep. They got a long road to go before they're even thinking about reverse sweep. Maybe it's in the back of their minds or they got to deal with game five first. Atomic lob ahead. Cheese, a little slow getting to that, but he had it red. With G2 not quite on his back just yet. Now Rettles, one demo, but it left Cheese to make that save at the crossbar. Daniel trying to get in front of Magic Bear. Cheese will have this, credit him with another save. He just continues racking up his numbers. He may need to make another stop as Magic Bear jumps in front. And Cheese has that one rolled out. Doesn't have anything to work with at all. Atomic picked his pocket, and Magic Bear can't catch up. Beast Mode scores as they just wear down Luminosity. Let's walk the dog, bring him out. Look at this, turned it on a dime. LG was just simply not ready for that, but Beast Mode was. He was playing close to Atomic. Once he recognized Atomic had that challenge, immediately pushed forward downfield to secure the goal. I didn't feel like it was much of a scoring chance out of G2 until they finally got that ball away from Cheese, and then it was just like, oh, well, Luminosity has nothing to work with. If they're out of position at all, they're not going to be able to recover. Double commit there between Daniel and Beast Mode, which, again, that's some of the early, early stage of G2 that we saw. And it doesn't really cost them much. Daniel still chasing Magic Bear. He'll circle around on this, too. A lot of players would have just retreated and let Atomic turn. Daniel took it instead. Atomic parks the brakes. And then Magic Bear redirect home. And they just forced their way upfield. Winning 50 after 50. Reynolds sees an opportunity to push it downfield. It says, go get it, Magic. And the Bear strikes. Tied up game. Good counterattack from Luminosity. I think maybe G2 just caught, caught being a little too aggressive, right? I mean, maybe Atomic probably should have just kept racing back. Might have been in position to stop that. He had no support behind him. Here goes Reynolds from the wing. Beast mode, the initial stop, slowed him down for Atomic. And he'll bring that away from Magic Bear and force Reynolds to take charge instead. Waiting for Cheese to get back involved, and he does with a shot, but Daniel with the save. Yeah, good shooting there. Anytime you see Illuminati with space, she's been very efficient on the free shot. Chance here for Beast Mode, and the Beast strikes G2 in the lead.
Everything we said about Cheese in the last series, say it about Beast Mode. He's got five goals now. And after that miss up at the crossbar, it was completely free. G2 in front with three minutes left. Trying to close out Luminosity, their second shot at clinching this final. Beast Mode nudged by Rettles. Now it's Atomic with Daniel trying to disrupt Magic Bear. He's in an awkward spot. Beast Mode, double to leave it. But you saw Daniel maybe start to come up, change his mind and a good thing. He could get back and defend this alongside Atomic. The playing light touches forward. I like that from Rettles. He's just going to get the boost. Atomic demos cheese, but Daniel's back all alone. Rettles went too far forward, so no, he wasn't able to take a shot there. After what was kind of a free look off the backboard, of course, Cheese couldn't get there. He was demoed by Atomic earlier on, so he was just busy respawning, literally. Luminosity have to start making the most of their chances here because G2 are going to strike hot every single time. Big goal from Atomic. Party is like, okay, I mean, if he can actually convert that going against his momentum, sure. The other side of that is, all right, nice shot. Perfectly placed. Defense had the entire right two-thirds of the net covered. And Atomic hit it where they weren't. Beast Mode turned off of this. That kind of threw off Luminosity for a moment. But now Cheese with Reynolds running forward. Atomic had a full tank of boost to start this play. He can actually stay with it now as it goes over top of Magic Bear. Reynolds was demolished. He's back into the play. And Atomic won't let this get into G2 territory just yet. Beast Mode. I'm just trying to keep this one in the in the blue half here. Oh, Atomic, good bump off of Rettles, taking him off the play. You see Rettles trying to catch up, and here's Beast Mode. Has Daniel way back. Atomic actually tried to pre-jump in earlier, but now Daniel will try to get involved. Luminosity seemed very set, but this is a very calculated approach here from G2. Beast Mode wanting to keep it in. Daniel still playing back pretty far for third. Atomic gets a light touch for Daniel. Dives, but Rettles able to get the save out. Beast Mode again picking up the ball. Has Atomic midfield. Plays it low. Beast Mode. Big goal here, which could submit the tournament for G2. Mirror image of what we saw in the previous game. Except this, too, it's G. This time it's G2 dominating. Final 117. Luminosity need to go forward, and they can't even off the kickoff. Reddle's destroyed. Daniel, slow play. The respawn right in front of the ball through LG for a loop, but they do get downfield. Magic Bear denied by Atomic, and the rebound cleaned up by Daniel and Beast Mode. And this version of G2 looks unstoppable. They are informed, dominant, and my goodness, they are a treat to watch. Atomic to the top left corner after the assist for Beast Mode. And G2 Stride. This is really, I, I don't even know if words can describe the level of consistently great performances we've seen out of this G2 team. It's been tough for anyone to stop them. LG's tried their best. You see Rettles again on the ball, trying to make something happen. They played close series with G2, but this one definitely got away from them towards the later half. And you really wonder, I mean, where the limit is and what G2 can do. Luminosity, though, still trying to fight here. Cheese ends up getting a big goal to cut the deficit down to three with 21 seconds left. But we'll see if they can make some something happen here. They're pretty good kickoff stacks. Mm, not so much. Cheese does reach the 40 goal plateau, however. So good on him for that. But what a performance out of G2. We talked about the numbers very briefly for their series total. 11 at 0 to start this season. They're going to keep it going. 12 and 0. And an overall 42 and 11 record. They're up there around 80, 85 percent.